Hey there friend, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever side of the world you are in right now. Welcome to our podcast, vodcast, YouTube cast, however you want to call it. The title of our segment or our podcast is Beyond the Daily Grind. And it's been named that way because beyond the daily grind there is meaning purpose and a way to live life in spite of the difficult the routine and even the monotonous so welcome back this is the second episode of our podcast and we are starting a series And the title of the series is Run in Such a Way. You got that right. Run in such a way. Life is like a race, right? And we are deriving our encouragement from 1 Corinthians 9, 24 to 27. From Paul's writing. Let me read that to you quickly. It said there, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like a man, running aimlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. No, I beat my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the price. Under this topic, this admonition, To remember that life is like a race. Our journey right now is like a big race, right? And we are supposed to run in such a way. But we are going to talk about that today. We're going to discuss expectation versus reality. Let me start by inviting you to imagine that you're about to run in a race. Okay, so what are your goals? You have to have a goal, of course. You're going to run that race. Of course, I'm sure you're going to say, I want to win the prize. Maybe you're thinking, I want to finish my race well. I want to, I want to be able to run and not not cause a scene, right? I want to run well. Very nice. Imagine you're also running with other people. There are also other runners in the race, right? So we have our race going on. Now, what are the methods? Of course, you, you, you need to practice. So there's a training going on. You need to train for the running, right? You discipline yourself. When I joined a sports fest, I I ran a marathon and it was a relay and I had to, I would go to a stadium in Quezon City in, in Philippines. I would go to a stadium and go there Several times a week, I would ride my bike to the stadium. And then when I get there, I would run, try to practice. You have to go there and have a feel what's going on, right? So you train, you run. So you know how to do it. If there's a hurdle, then you have to practice doing that. Jumping those hurdles. If there's a, if it's a relay, You have to go with your team and practice passing that baton to the other players. 
So there's a there's a certain discipline you have to engage in. There are certain things you have to be willing to do. There are certain things that you have to be willing not to do to be able to achieve your goal, right? So you go through a strict training. There's a method that you do. Okay, so good. We're set. Let's go ahead and run a race. Hmm. Okay, now give me possible scenarios. Okay, we're running the race. And here's what's happening. Somebody starts to get tired. Cramps. Get tired. Okay. Stumble. Maybe somebody trips. Maybe somebody trips on another runner. Somebody falls. Oops. How about a face plant? Oh. That would not be good, right? So there's there's what happens when expectations does not meet the reality of life. So what do we do? We cry. Of course you fail. Sometimes you get hurt, you cry. And sometimes you cry out of embarrassment. You have the tendency to quit, right? And sometimes you have the tendency to quit the race or the career altogether, not just the race, not just the event. I'm just going to go quit the entire thing. If you messed up, sometimes there is the tendency. Okay, since I already failed, why don't we just, just go on with the show? Right? In Tagalog, we say, ito do na to. Because anyway, I made, I made a blunder. Why don't I just get on with it? And some, some people feel like doing that when, when, when that happens. Right? Let me add to the scenario. You're running with other people. Okay. So what's going on? Same thing. Somebody's getting tired. Somebody's getting a sprain, stumbles, trips, fall, fall on another person, another runner. They go face plant. Tell me about the reactions of the people there. Whoops. Oh no. Maybe people are la laughing. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. When I was asking for reaction, because I shared this to um, a group of people. This is the third time I'm sharing this message, only with a different emphasis this time. And when I shared it in one of those groups, I ask for a reaction on, okay, you're running together with other people and this happened. And one of them said, I kind of saw that person and it's like, I already knew she was going to do that. He was going to do that. <laughs> that was a reaction, right? So what do we do? Yeah, that's that's the... Hey, folks, life happens. Sometimes we have to accept the fact that the expectation and the reality would not match. You set out with a goal. You set out with training, with your education, with your... This is what you do. Preparation and still you face all kinds of setbacks, obstacles. Okay, failures, mistakes. And what do we do? Our reaction is to cry, to quit, quit the race, quit the, the career entirely. Some will persevere and very good for you if you're that kind of person. You're resolved to do that. 
but probably people, some people will be thinking of giving up, right? Especially if you mess up and if you mess up big time. When I think about my life, I have, I'm, I'm a bull. I'm a s- strong-headed person, yes. So if I'm, if I, if I choose the right things, I'll be sold out doing the right things. And if I choose the wrong way, I'll be sold out doing that craziness. So I'm very grateful to God. He's always kept me straight. And when I'm not in line, that he does bring me back in line. Because he knows I'm a bull. And you don't want a bull in the wrong way, right? Going in the wrong way, in the wrong direction. Do na lang sa tama. Let's just go in the right direction, right? So we have the tendency to... Me, I have the tendency to... I'm a bull. And it's funny when I look back in my life, I've had epic success as well as epic failures. And I know when I mess up big time, it's just me. It's my big time choices. And when I would succeed, it was also epic too. And I stood up for that. I braved it. I did what I needed to do. And I succeeded. It's just me. That's me. I'm a bull. So I do that, mess up. Sometimes we mess up, right? And there's a tendency for us to just quit the race or quit altogether. And also sometimes there's the tendency to, well, we already fell. We're already doing this thing. Why don't we just keep going? Right? In Tagalog, we say itodo na yan. Full blast. Take it away. But you're listening to this podcast right now. Let me tell you what. God definitely wants you to run your race, child. And get up and run in such a way. And run like you never run before. Let me give you an encouragement. When expectations does not meet reality, remember, God wants to keep you going. You need to keep going. God wants you to keep going. You feel like crying? Go ahead, cry. It's okay to cry. It's okay to grieve about it. Some things that happen in our life, But it is not okay to quit the race. It is not okay to stay there in our grief, to stay there in our depression, to stay there in our sorrow, to stay there in our mistakes. Get up, child, and run your race. Cry, quit, uh, grieve, that's what I meant. But don't quit. You keep going. It's not okay to grieve. Don't forget that the joy of the Lord is your strength. That's in Nehemiah 8.10. And even if you fell down, you don't have to stay down. You don't have to stay in that rut, in that hole. Get up, child. Get up and run. Get up and fight. Be brave. Quit crying. Get up and run your race. It takes humility sometimes. But humility helps when you've done something wrong, you've committed a mistake, you need to learn from it.
sometimes when you hear when you hear a lot of people saying something you need to learn to sort between people who are just nay naysayers and people who love you and understand what's going on and trying to help you go to the right direction it takes humility and you know what even when you mistake make a mistake you'll be surprised that although there are people who will not be rooting for you there are people who really desire your success and they are willing to give you grace because every one of us have flaws are sinners right what people are skeptic about or cynic about are those that don't seem to make any mistakes right or the ones that hide them but sometimes when you accept that you were wrong you made a mistake people are willing you'll be surprised to give you the grace so it takes humility just be humble and also you need to take it by faith you have to learn to stand in God's promise one way you can get on and continue with the race is when you stand in his promises whatever promise is given you you have to stand in your identity when you mess up you think okay for for a believer in Christ sometimes some people think they're no longer saved and that is not the case past present future the word of god says you are a new creation in Christ and though you fail it's not because you're not no longer a new creation you have become like a bad creation again you you just forgot then you need to remember right who you are you need to remember your identity and sometimes you need to take it by faith you need to fight for the call that God has given you lastly the encouragement i'd like to give you is in Romans 8 Romans 8 What does the word of God says to us? Yes, reality and expectation may not match and something will happen along the way, but you don't have to stay there you have to keep going and god's encouragement for you is to keep going romans 8:37 says in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us for every child of god remember that you have the christ dna in you and because of the dna in you a victor's dna you're going to win boy you are going to win girl all you got to do is remember that and keep running paul said romans 8:35 who shall separate us from the love of christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword I'm going back to this in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us for I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us 
from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I'll paraphrase that. I love paraphrasing it this way. And nothing will be able to prevent us from experiencing God's love in Christ Jesus. Nothing, not these things that we faced, right? Not these hurdles, even if our expectations does not match the reality of our life. God wants you to continue your race, to keep running. Don't stay there and don't keep making the same mistake. You need, to re you need to align, realign yourself. Maybe you need to retrain. Maybe you need rest. Maybe you need to refocus, right? Maybe you need somebody to help you, pull you out of a situation. But God wants you to keep going because you are more than a conqueror. Through him who loves you. I hope that helps you today. May God bless you. I'll see you again in our podcast Beyond the Daily Grind. God bless you all.